Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at potential difference in electric field strength in a uniform field. So let's get started. Now, we've already looked at electric field strength and how charges move in uniform electric fields. And we're going to extend this a bit more. So it says that for a uniform field, the electric field strength is the same at all points. Consider the uniform field below. So let's say we've got a positively charged plate on the top and a negatively charged plate in the bottom. The electric field lines will go from positive to negative down the way in this case. We can say the potential difference between two points is the work done in moving one coulomb of charge from one point to the other against the electric field, i.e. from the lower plate to the upper plate. So remember we saw in a previous video that if we move a positive point charge against the electric field lines, then we have to do work to do that. It then says that the minimum force needed to move a charge plus Q from the lower plate to the upper plate is F equals QE. And we've already seen this equation when we looked at the definition for electric field strength. Since work done is equal to the force times distance, W equals FD, but W equals QV, then by definition we have two expressions for work done and we can equate them. So we've got FD equals QV, or subbing in our expression for F in terms of the electric field strength, we've got QED equals QV, because F equals QE. So we've got QED equals QV, and you'll notice that the charges on both sides can cancel out to give us an expression in terms of V, E, and D. So we've got V equals ED, where V is the potential difference between the plates measured in volts, E is the electric field strength measured in newtons per coulomb, and D is the distance between the plates measured in meters. So if you're dealing with values of the distance between the plates, electric field strength, and potential difference between the plates, then this is a very handy equation to use. And lastly, note that rearranging the above equation for E, you should see that one newtons per coulomb is equivalent to one volt per meter. So these units are equivalent, and you can get away with stating either one for your units of electric field strength. So if we rearrange this to get E equals V over D, then we would have volt divided by meters, which gives us the volt per meter part for these units. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.